think we're live. And I hope my mic is working okay. <laughs> All right, let me just bring up my reference because it's super tiny on my screen right now. We're live. Hello, Namara. How are you? How's my audio? I'm sorry for the sniffles. <laughs> Oof. Oh, let me double check. <laughs> How is my audio? Oh, Dutka. You're out at trivia, but you'll be that you'll be around the chat soon. Oh, nice trivia. Audio is a little quiet. Okay, uh, let me. All right, so let's crank it up a little bit. How how are we now? I think I think it's because my distance to the mic keeps changing. Okay, how are you now, Namara? Okay, if it's, if it's not optimal then, or maybe there's a lag, <laughs> no data. Hope we're not freezing already. Sounding good now? Okay, great. Um, hey Diamond, I think I saw I just saw you, right? Hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> Alright, we did a color block last week, right? So let me just pull that up. And it okay, yeah, I merged everything together. Okay, let's just get this party started. Um my ring lamp is a little a little bright. Let me turn it down a little bit. Can you turn it off? Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm, the lag is really bad. The lag is like 30 seconds. Okay, let me just... Oh, come on. Let me... Let me see here. Auto. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess we do need the ring light. Give me a second. I'll just leave it on. Why? You know what they say, like, don't fix what ain't broke? <laughs> I committed the cardinal sin. Okay, let me just... Ah, why is it completely here? Does that do anything? That just adds more glare. Why is it... Why is it completely t terrible? What just happened? Uh, 
new eyes. Come on, we are on auto mode. Why is this? Why is it like this? Okay. I think everything's up to date now. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, thank you. Oh man, I, I was like so proud of myself. We started at eight. Everything was set up and fine. It's just that there's like a pretty, from my point of view, the ring light glare right here is just, it's annoying, but we're just gonna live with that, I think. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, Snapey Poo. Let's get started here. Let's just jump in. Just. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I sneezed right at the, right at the mic. I, I apologize. Oh, God. My nose. My nose. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, tomorrow you don't see that glare at all? Oh, that's okay. I will, uh, I will live with it. I'll probably get used to it. We'll deal with it. Okay. Sorry for the sniffles. Bless, bless me. Thank you. Oh, man. So how's everybody holding up? The holidays are always so rough for me. Like, it just, it's so hard. I love my family, but I don't need to see you this often. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? I, I love you, but let's, let's, let's go back to the distance we used to have. Just one of those. Hmm. All right. Oh man. I feel like I haven't made art in a long time. I've just been teaching all day, so it's just been basically me wrangling kids <laughs> for like eight hours a day. It's like winter camp season right now, so all the kids are just like going in, making their holiday themed uh, art projects, and then running every teacher and staff member to the ground <laughs> at the school. Oh, let's see. Namara. Oh, you're doing good. The holidays really snuck up on you this year. Diamond, doing all right. Trying to feel better from this cold. Also trying to get some writing done. Oh, man. That's rough. Oof. Namara, how's your... 
How's your winter shopping or like uh, present shopping? If you do any. I'm so behind. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Uh... <sighs> the men in my family are so hard to shop for. It's just, ugh. They only like the bougie things. And I'm just like, I can't, I can't spend two grand on your fancy little, like, hunting equipment or your, like, nighttime radar fancy thingamajig. <laughs> okay? <laughs> can you aim a little lower? <laughs> Maybe not Dollar Tree, but can you, can you aim a little lower? And it's just like something... Oh man. Uh, father. Why do you make it so difficult? Okay, not bad, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Namara, your present shopping is finally done. Last one came in in the mail the other day and you need to get her wrapped up to give to your friend and there's a note that gets you need to mail out late <laughs> ah, i wish i was in your boat because right now i need the i'm waiting for so i decided to do like to make homemade medicinal wine like chinese herbal style and just put a bunch of herbs in some nice vodka but the, I ordered the herbs too late because I'm a terrible procrastinator. And so now it's like, oh no, I don't think it'll come until <laughs> until after Christmas and they're going to be so butthurt. Oh man, I think the, the lag is just really bad today. Sorry, everyone. I want my instant gratification or instant notifications. I'm a millennial. But Diamond, how's a uh, how's that cold? So you're trying to do better. Okay. Hmm. Hope you're drinking fluids. to do his lips it's so difficult okay let's use that one Today, we're doing all right today. Ah, oh, Diamond, it sucks. You hate being sick. Cough so much it causes an irritation in the back of your throat. Oh no. Oh, Joanna, hi, welcome. The flowers are gorgeous. Well, I mean, I didn't draw those flowers. <laughs> But, but thank you, we picked them out together last time on stream. So I hope, I hope they translate uh, visually. We'll see how, how well I render them. Let's 
a subtle, subtle smile. Can't have him smiling too hard here. It's got to be subtle. Okay. Let's give him some under lip kind of shadow. I think I might deepen this though. Let's deepen it just a little bit. How is that? Oof. 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 Okay. No, mm. oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to give you a li lip lift. <laughs> Sneepy poo. Let's give you a lip lift. Let's do some symmetrical correction. How is that? Oh, that's too much. Hold on. Let me try that again. Lip lift and a little bit. Okay. How is that? Let's fill this baby up. Uh, Madeline, oh hey! I'm alright, I'm surviving. <laughs> How are you doing, Madeline? I might be lagging on my end, sadly. Can't tell. Can't tell if it's a me problem or. If I'm just boring everyone today. Doing pretty well. Long day. Glad it's almost over. Nice. You know, tidying up these um these value shapes reminds me of um a student that I was helping in class today. So it's very interesting. The school the private art school that I work for that I'm now teaching these camps, these like winter kind of like, I mean, like I come from Texas, so <laughs> I guess everybody just celebrates Christmas kind of in a way. Like it's just like a blanket um, sort of, we're just going to draw Santa and elves and all that jazz. And you know what? I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to go with the flow. Like this is, this is not my I do, I do not own this business, right? And so I'm just going with the flow. And it's very, like, step-by-step, step, very rigid sort of teaching style. Um, it's a very rigid sort of teaching style, which is just kind of shocking to me coming from, I guess, just art school, where the purpose of going to art school was to, to find our voice, right? To find, to develop our own techniques, to just just search, play, let ourselves fail. And so to see these kids like have all of these ideas and they get shot, oh, oh, cat. <laughs> hey, Bobo, you're in your way, move your tail. Um, so yeah, to, to see these kids get like basically shot down or like I have to do the one shooting them down and be like, hey, my supervisor <laughs> told me not to give y'all so much freedom. It, it just kind of sucks. It's like they have so many opinions and ideas and for the sake of like making and it's not even a, a great product like it. These are just step by step kind of instructions like almost like projects from Pinterest almost. It's not they're not masterpieces. You know, I guess 
it's just kind of frustrating to to watch and see as as an artist um maybe i just don't maybe i'm too too frou frou free to me oh whoa what just happened oh my cat just stepped on my computer okay i hope um i hope i didn't nothing happen to the stream i think maybe he just pressed like command r and refreshed everything Namara, your cat is trying to beg for more food, but he's on a diet. <laughs> oh, that's, those are my cats. So you know how I've been like staying at my sister sometimes? I feel like she over scoops. I told her, hey, two scoops. And I feel like she over scoops. Every time, every time I do like the rib test, it's like, okay, are your ribs still there? They diminish. Every time I do the rib test, I'm like, what's going on? Okay, let's let's play together. But cats have a hard time dieting and losing weight, right? And so he's just it's not it's not working. So I feel like either she's she's lying to me <laughs> or her scoops are like not scoops, they're just mountain spoons. It's so frustrating. It's just funny because the cats wake her up first because she's weak. She gives in. She gives in to their pesters. So recently, it's been like 5.45 a.m. I like check the, the, my, my phone clock because I hear like the sound of pellets being deposited in their, their food bowl. And it's just so funny. I'm just like, oh, what are you doing? They're totally manipulating you. They, they've totally controlled you now. Anyway. <laughs> Madeline, everyone scoops differently. <laughs> yeah, I should just watch her next time. Ugh. We need to do like some, what are they called? Like an experiment or like just some test, some QCQA test and measure each of our scoops and compare. <laughs> <laughs> compare the, dis the difference in, in weight. Okay, I think I need to give him... Okay, we gotta give you a little surgery on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling a little uh, a little slanted here, my, my, my friend. But Namara, how do you put your cat on a diet? Cause I just, I try to reduce by like maybe 15, 20% ish. Like the vet said, he's like, don't do it too fast. And I'm like, yes, sir, I got you. And I don't know, I don't think it's working. <laughs> Probably cause there's, yeah, an unforeseen variable here. Madeline investigation mode? Yeah, maybe I just need to just need to test her. Or no well, what if she what if she fibs though when I like to hey, scoop for me so I can measure <laughs> the the gram the gram weight. I just need to catch her in the act, I guess. Or maybe I'm too paranoid. Or maybe she's just like sleep deprived and not paying attention to the number of scoops. Who knows? Who knows? Namara, yeah, you just reduce this food over the course of a few weeks. You got to do it for a few months to actually have an impact, though, because you don't want them losing weight too fast. Diamond, less snacks. Okay. Okay, maybe that's it, too. I like, I'm very strict with the snacks, but my sister loves buying like temptation snacks. And I'm like, hey, no, we do greenies for their breath and their teeth health 
and then maybe one churu a day for their like hydration levels. <laughs> and she just keeps buying them those. <sighs> Oops. No more, I don't want them to starve in the process of losing weight. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> uh, but I also want them to lose weight. <laughs> but yeah, fast, uh, fast tricks don't work. Okay, I'm like thinking, do I want to do a whole tendril down here? Yes, I do want to do a whole tendril. Beautiful man, my beautiful man. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have. Tidied up some of these first before doing those strands. Diamond, my Snape is always the prettiest Snape. Thank you. It's because I'm shallow. <laughs> I'm shallow, so shallow. Should should we have a piece of skin right there? Am I thinking how do I break up? Okay, actually, that tendril should be one shape. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I didn't realize. So one of my students like a couple weeks ago asked me is tendrils the right word for them and I'm like no, no, no. <laughs> that's a word I, I used up <laughs> or I made up it's, it's not that's not the the proper term I just sometimes I forget what you should call them and I think it's like side bang I think is a better term for it S side bang like the, this these these hairs but you know how sometimes I'm just gonna break doodle layer you know how sometimes in some character designs like people have those really long <laughs> like, 
long things. It just they just look like <laughs> look. I don't know. They look like they can come alive and <laughs> and and animate themselves. You know. So I guess just I don't know. I call them tendrils. But I think side, side bang. It's like it's like you know how we have sideburns, right? But what if they grew out? <laughs> what are they called? Does anybody know? Um, tomorrow strands of hair. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Okay, let's go back. I'm getting distracted. Uh, okay. Let's keep tidying. <laughs> Madeline sideburns. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Who knows what they're called? It's all semantics. Students love arguing semantics with you. I'm just like, you get what I'm saying? Or are you being fussy? I want to try working on one of the aconite flowers next and we'll see how well I can render that because the sunflowers were pretty they were almost abstractions because I kept them so loose but I kind of want to go render them a lot um, cleaner tighter in, in this illustration let's push ourselves Uh, diamond long sideburns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Oops. Too much. I don't know. Add some depth here. Push that back. Tidy that up. Oh, Madeline, that's what you used in your last week? Oh, you guys are wordsmiths. I forget. These things matter to you. <laughs> uh, I can say that thing of a bob and point to it. <laughs> and then I call it a day. <laughs> but y'all, y'all have to, y'all have to describe things, huh? Kudos, respect. My vocabulary has plummeted um, in the last three years since I'm barely talking to people nowadays.
floating on top. <laughs> Diamond, you're so funny. Let's see. Let's cut in more negative space. Hmm. I think I cut it too short. Come on. All right, there we go. <laughs> Am I no longer, <laughs> do I not no longer give off static? What's going on here, iPad? Don't you recognize my, my, my thumb? Madeline, your customer service side has plummeted. <laughs> oh, man. I literally brain fart sometimes in front of the students, and I'm just like, because they're like, they keep riding around, and they just, they won't stay in their seats, and I get it, they're kids, right? But, you know, I have to maintain order in the classroom, and it's like, some a lot of the, I, I think I said twice today, class, sit down on your desk. <laughs> And then like some cheeky little boogers, they sat on their desk to spite me. And I'm just like, you're going to get paint on your tushy. But you know what I meant? Sit down in your seat. Oh my God. Kids. <laughs> Children. <laughs> just because teacher hasn't had their cup of coffee this morning doesn't mean that you couldn't. <laughs> You could be cheeky. Just because teacher woke up late this morning <laughs> doesn't mean you can take advantage. God, I just need to bring a Red Bull to the class. Diamond, kids are so frustrating sometimes, yeah. Oh, and then they turn around and with their free draw paper, they like make this kind of like cute little flip card thingy and they say best ever. And they, they say, um, teacher, we have a delivery for you. And then they hand it to me with both hands, you know, with much, uh, much cuteness. And then I take it and then I open it and it says best teacher ever. And then uh, yeah, I'll, all my frustration flows out the window. <laughs> They could walk all over me. <laughs> the the external validation it just it solves everything, you know. All of my my tiredness, and I'm just like, oh, I just got manipulated <laughs> by someone a tenth of my age. Maybe not a tenth. The twentieth? God, yeah, twentieth. The twentieth to a third of my age, in between that age range. So it's it's funny. I mean, it's it's just funny. It's this is all character building experience. <laughs> Namara malicious compliance. Uh. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Cheeky little boogers. Okay, okay, we're getting there. It's a little stiff on this side, though. I'm gonna undo, I'll, I'll do the extra fancy strands later. Actually, no. I think I needed that, actually. Let's just keep put that back. Uh, and then it's, I think it's this shape that's too, too straight down. So let's carve into it a little bit. So that it, it's like more windswept. Oh yeah, let's do a C curve like that right there. Steph, you're so pretty. I can't wait to do the light in your hair. We're gonna do that later though. <laughs> now we're just gonna clean up. Clean up these thingies. Right. Okay, let's try a flower. Let's take a break and do a flower. We'll do this flower. Looks like an alien eye. Okay, um, let me pull up. Window that buddy minimized. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, first. purple I want to pink or purple I think yeah do hotter pinker a little warmer a little deeper deeper myself in the seat because <laughs> the glare is driving me crazy right now all right um diamond what kind of flowers are these these are aconite flowers They're very pretty, but they're very, they look very weird. Okay. I also think I need to not obsess so much about the, the, the accuracy of the hue, too. I think I'm, I'm getting caught up in... Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I like this. <laughs> this is good. All right, now let's, let's throw in... It's also more desaturated. Is it desaturated? Yeah, it's a little bit desaturated. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> Ugh, no, that's not it. That's not it. of me. Alright, um, okay, for 
flowers. Right, let me just redraw the flower so that it's better shape. Okay. <clears throat> bits. shouldn't have merged them all together. Let's cut you out. Uh, oops. Nope, I don't want to color fill. Let's not do that. Add. And this bit. Add. Copy pasta. Yep, we have a backup version of him. Okay, great. So now, cut him out. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Uh, great. So let's. Hi, dude, con. What's up? Welcome back. How was trivia? Was this at a bar or was this among friends? I've always wanted to go to one of those uh, trivia nights at a bar, just like in the movies. <laughs> I'm just like so curious. But I'm too comfortable in my, my safe zone at home. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's let's try this again. Okay. Uh, let's do a dark color. <laughs> Dude, God, it was great. We lost. <laughs> You know, I'm terrible at trivia. I know no general facts about anything. So, so bad. I'm one of those hipster people that avoid mainstream media too, so it's not like I can do movie quotes or anything like that either. on my computer. <laughs> Disable sunrise. Uh, Dude Kun, yes, it was at a bar restaurant. They run it weekly and there's a company that does it all through our county and there's a ranking for the teams. There's a ranking? 
Oh, yo, that's like legit. A <laughs> dude come the one time there was a Harry Potter question, you weren't there. <laughs> All the irony. Oh, man. I mean, even if there was a Harry Potter question, I don't think I would be able to answer it. We're just gonna keep pushing shapes around, I think, until until I hit I hit something. Okay, there just needs to be more purple. I think yeah, I think I'm in the blue area. I think I just need to go purple, but purple and more purple, more purple, more purple. Okay, I think we're getting okay. Yeah. Dude, Cun, but you have won your team the Harry Potter only big trivia games every time. Nice. Nice. Oh, that sounds so fun. Were there any questions that tripped you up? is tripping me up. <clears throat> okay, let me just... Okay, we're just gonna live with that. <laughs> we're just gonna live with that. Can't, can't keep... Can't keep fudging. Okay, no. No, I won't live with that. I can't. I will not. No. <laughs> we, are not we are not gonna settle. <laughs> we are gonna... rustling with this until y'all get sick of me. Okay. Okay, do you get in the Harry Potter games? What was the final score for the Bulgaria and Ireland Quidditch World Cup in the Goblet of Fire? That one you didn't know, but thankfully neither did anyone else. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a question for uh, Google son. Can't do that. Don't know that. <clears throat> The Akinai looks really pretty. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I just feel like I'm pushing, just smudging pixels around. But yeah, let's just, yeah, let's stop fussing with like the actual temperature of the color and we'll just focus on the shapes for now. I think that's more important. Uh, thank you for the perspective, everyone. <laughs> it's one of those times where I need to pull my my head out of my ass. Okay. <clears throat> I think that we go deeper, deeper, but Madeline, wasn't that some ridiculous score? Namara, Ireland won, but Bulgaria got the stitch. That's all you remember. That you, that's a lot to remember, Namara. <laughs> uh, 
Dude, cut. It was a ridiculous outcome that Ireland that Ireland would win, but Crumb would catch the snitch. All I could remember was that it was a difference of just ten points. Damn. Y'all have good. Y'all have good memory. I have. Don't remember any of this. Come on. All right, there we go. to be a flower and it will one of many flowers maybe I shouldn't be rendering it to such to this level of tightness I think it will be distracting in the end okay let me just <laughs> let me see what it looks like with Snape Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> We're, just gonna... We're on a roll. We're just gonna keep going. Let's try rendering these little statement pieces. Uh, dude, can Harry Potter is the only thing you know. You're pretty dead weight in everything else. <coughs> Madeline, Ireland defeated Bulgaria 170 to 160. Oh, did you just look it up? <laughs> oh, man. I wish there was, like, a Harry Potter fandom con. I feel like it would be so much fun. And then, like, during the convention, there, there could be trivia and then cosplayers coming in. I feel like that would be fun. I feel like the closest we could have to that is just... What, is it Universal Studios? <laughs> color? Oh, I did. Madeline, Google our best friends. <laughs> Namara, wow, that means Ireland was kicking ass and Bulgaria only scored once before they got the snitch. Huh! <laughs> Fascinating. Con, you've always wanted to go to, to Leaky Con. Leaky Con? Is that a thing? Huh. I have to look that up. Um, you have Snape and Luna cosplays all lined up and ready. Ah. Madeline, doesn't Disneyland have Harry Potter World? Dude Con, it's universal. It's really great. Namara, there used to be Harry Potter cons. Leaky Con was somewhere in the States, but I have no idea if it's still alive due to the pandemic. And also, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> JKR <laughs> yeah I don't know 
I guess I'll Google it. It would be so much fun. Okay. Oh, this looks weird. <laughs> this looks like... I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Some kind of, some kind of pin cushion. gonna keep going we're just gonna pretend that this is gonna look okay at the end of the day chat uh leaky con is happening oh, august 4th oh 2023 in chicago chicago i have no connections in chicago <laughs> i guess i'll just have to yeah let's go there solo um diamond you would love to go to leaky con but only if you had people to go with you know uh, Madeline, I can post a link. Please post the link to their website in Discord, please. I need to, I need to see that. It's even more fun that way. Dude, cut a pin cushion perfect for our prickly professor. <laughs> These should be made of like sharp, <laughs> sharp sticks. Um, that would be cool. Madeline, I would still go with you, Diamond. I mean, I would too. Let me just check my finances and. <laughs> See if I can actually go. Oh, I really want to go. Uh, Madeline. Leaky Con goes off of the CDC guidelines for that state. Oh, okay. We'll have to check. I'll have to check that then. Oh my god. I had no idea. I, I didn't think that was a thing. I didn't think there were Harry <laughs> Potter I guess you can tell how much of a rock I live under. Just, there's like a little extra little 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 thingamabobbers just floating, just hanging out right down here. What are these? I'm just because and they're kind of black. All right, all right. Can I put these on? sexual part of the flower this is we're just gonna draw it bring it to life oh, okay hold on oh, okay let's just okay, actually this um Oh, thanks, Namara, for hitting up that, or dropping that link. <laughs> Madeline, it's a pricey. Oh, no. Pricey. Ugh. I just, I went to EchiCon in um, Austin. Was it last week? Or was it two weeks ago? No, it was, no, 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 it was two weeks ago like two weekends ago and yeah it was pricey and it wasn't worth it i just walked around the the artist alley expecting some nice spicy stuff and it was just like mm. <laughs> this is so basic I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not gonna put my money down for this oh such a disappointment but yeah 
you charged me, how much did they charge me? They charged me $75 to get in for general. And I just wanted to go back to the hotel room the entire time. Oh, it wasn't in Austin. It was San Marcos, actually. Let's see. Uh, okay, these, like, this part of the pedal. Oh, it's all, like, veiny and crap. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's, let's, okay, let's make this kind of light blue. Light blue. Top pedal. Where's uh, okay? Ah. How many flowers do I have to do it? Okay, I'll just because this one is such in such a good position too compared to the rest. I'll just I'll keep this one super like kind of rendered and then we'll just kind of like indicate the rest so that it's a feeling and it's not overwhelmingly in focus, you know. We just we gotta have a focal point. This is the focal point. And then everything else will just be a sort of general impression of flowers that's what that way yeah let me keep your eyes moving uh, okay i think i'll just take that color and then make it lighter okay i want that color make it lighter
bit more petal like. Kind of like that. Okay. And then I think I'll shorten this actually. Uh, Madeline, you gotta say, these passes are cheaper than the last con you went to. Your admission alone was close to 300, not including photo ops, autographs, or anything else, which photo ops altogether was about 500 plus. <gasps> Yo. Namara, you remember when anime cons were just like 30, 40 bucks for the whole weekend? Yeah, that's what I'm used to. What's with this price jump? <laughs> this is this is intense. Three hundred dollars, not including photo ops. I remember. Yeah, three hundred dollars was everything for like when I went to a comic con to to hunt down my my Trekkie um, autographs and and photo ops, like uh, a photo op and. An autograph with Nimoy was like 300 and admission, of course, like VIP admission. That's wild. Namara, but everything's so commercial these days and that makes it so much more expensive. Oh, yeah, I guess it's just like a money generating machine. Damn. <laughs> uh, I feel so disheartened now. <laughs> That's so intense. Time and you're not paying three hundred to five hundred to come home with COVID. <laughs> oh man, Madeline, you ended up sick right afterwards. You gotta say, do con you were trekking to? Hell yeah, bro. Um, it's in my farmhouse, like a hundred and sixty miles away. I'm in my sister's apartment right now, but yeah, I got. I mean, I don't have all of the original cast like photo ops and autographs, sadly, but I was on my way to collecting them and then I became a broke like art student. <laughs> yeah. Back when back when I was making when I was making decent money as a software engineer, um, every year I would dole the pain with like not retail therapy, but I would just like go ham at these cons like i just chase these celebrities that were kind of awkward and um <laughs> not awkward um i was awkward i think uh the situation was awkward but yeah they were very gracious about it but yeah it was <laughs> fun times fun times madeline you've gotten a photo op with misha collins and <laughs> let you say it was worth it Oh man, so cool. Oh. Did you get a chance to talk to to Misha, Madeline? Or was it like a sort of assembly line of just get your just get your photo and go, get your photo and go? <laughs> okay, what am I drawing? I don't even know what part I'm on anymore. Also, I need to do surgery. I know it doesn't matter. I know this is just some part of a flower, but the dimension is killing me for the perspective. Let me just, it doesn't look like it's coming out of the flower. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like it. It just looks like...
feel like I didn't do anything. Actually, it looks better before. <laughs> Let's just leave it. Madeline assembly during the photo op, but you were able to talk to him for a bit during the autographs. Nice. Nice. I'm kind of losing it. All right, I'm gonna go back to the, <laughs> go back to our Snape. turning blue. <laughs> it's because you're painting blue. Okay. Please excuse the car alarm. Sort of seeing it in relation to one another. I think that helps actually. So I can push this color here. Like that. Okay, gonna keep pushing this petal out. I'm gonna do an edge for this petal. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> oh, I wanted to finish this by December. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ugh. Okay. Madeline, guys, you can pre-order a shirt. He asked nicely from the... Goblet of Fire when Dumble screamed, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Oh.
now the colors look so dead compared, <laughs> compared to this. It's so punchy. Tones up in here. Uh, Madeline, isn't it December? Yeah, it is December, isn't it? I aim too high. <laughs> I aim too high. Uh, I wanted to finish it by the end of this month, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. Oh, hi, Gabriel. Good morning. It's evening over here where I am at. this back into space. Yep. That's why it keeps popping out so much, I think. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Zoom. Gabriel, it's 4.24 a.m. over there. You just woke up? Dang, you're an early bird. <laughs> what is your secret? I would like to know. <laughs> I want to be an early bird, but it's just, it's too hard for me. doing this. Ugh. Okay. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, wait. Let's see. 
anymore, guys. <laughs> it's all just abstract veins at this point. Okay, I think I need a break from this. Okay, uh, let's do something else. <clears throat> uh, let's, let's tidy up his outfit. I was brainless enough, I think. Madeline, is anyone else doing a Harry Potter marathon before Christmas? Ooh. Is that a tradition for anyone? Gabriel, there's a secret at all. Sleep and I don't go well together. Most of the time we sleep three hours, stay awake for 10 hours, then sleep three hours again. It's a messed up sleep for them. Aw, that sucks. Hang in there. I hope you're, are you at least functional? Oops. Wrong color. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, do come, you don't normally do, but, oh, you normally do, but probably not this year. You've, you've watched SS, oh, Sorcerer's Stone. Sometimes I love and hate drawing Snape's outfit because on one hand it's very simple so I enjoy I enjoy drawing it in comic form but in times like these when I have to do like color pieces it's so hard because it's just black like let's just look at this void of darkness so I'm probably gonna add like kind of maybe blue half tones in here to just spruce things up because this is this is brutal on the eyes <laughs> it's just boring i guess yeah not brutal but boring Dive in. Your sleep schedule is uh, get what hours you can before 6 30 a.m. when you have to be awake. Most nights, if not many. Oh man. Well, how do y'all function without sleep? I, I can't. It's so hard. You guys love all of caffeine? Diamond, you plan on reading the books again before watching the movies again? Nice. Oh, did we were supposed to do like <laughs> we were supposed to do a book club, right? Oh man, I totally dropped the ball on that. I wanted to reread the books, but I guess yeah, life just kind of happened. Dude, can oh yeah, you'd love to do another read of all the books. You're moving to the UK next year, and it would be nice to get one more book marathon in while you're in the US. Nice, moving to the UK. Fun. I'm such a glutton. All I remember during, of my visit to to England was was the clotted cream. <laughs> That's all I remember. Oh. And I remember um, watching a Shakespeare play, but I don't remember the the events of like during the the Shakespeare play. But I I remember. Vividly, the taste of clotted cream. So good. So good. Okay, he only has three fingers. Uh-oh. Time to draw him another finger. Let me 
just need to, okay, we gotta, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. let's expand that hand a little bit. Or, hold on, do I make my life harder? No, I don't like that. Okay, we're going to keep them all together. Um. Okay, Priya, the slogan is you can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> I've only, I, like, I can't function anymore. Back when, in my early 20s, I could do the all-nighters, I could drink the Red Bull, I can eat the hot Cheetos and survive. And now my body feels, excuse me, give me a sec. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I spent six hours yelling at kids today. <laughs> oh man, uh, I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I can't abuse my body like that anymore. <coughs> okay, uh, I need more liquid. Be right back. I don't have a BRB C uh, screen. Hold on, let me actually. I'll write it. Uh, I'll write it in red. B R B. Choking. <laughs> okay. It's not far. Okay. Um. <laughs> he's a he's a Santaran. <laughs> no, Mar, you've lost me with that reference. I don't know. Some pretty fingernails for him. Uh, should I make him longer? Should I make his fingers skinnier? I feel like I should make his fingers skinnier. Skinnier. More spider. You know how some hands, like, um, they have, like, little, like, even if you kind of close your, your hands like this, like, they have gaps. I feel like Snape would have that kind of hand. Okay, let me. I just want it to be appealing. First, let's do a dark brown for these kinds of lines. <coughs> Namara, a 
Santarn is a Doctor Who alien with three fingers. <laughs> oh man. Love it. I love it. I have to look it up. Dude, can I focus on Snape's hands? Is one of my favorite parts of Snary Fix. Yeah. Same. Same. Oops. Okay. Ah, stop. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll just make the, the finger a little bit more pointier as well. More slender, more slender, more bony, spidery hands. Let's get it. Okay. <clears throat> but I also want it. Okay, let's let's do that. One, two, three, knuckle. One, two, three, knuckle-ish. Let's kind of clarify the knuckle. Ugh. Sausage fingers. Okay. Uh. This reminds me of uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. You remember the sausage? Has anyone seen that movie? Um, came out. When did it come out? It came out earlier this year. It blew my mind. The little sausage, fi sausage fingers, <laughs> um, gag, it's, and it just kept giving. Like every, every time the sausage fingers would come up, I was just like, <laughs> so funny. But I'm just thinking, every time I draw hands, it's like, ah, oh, don't draw sausage fingers. Make them elegant, make them beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> Namar, you haven't seen that movie? Ah, oh, do yourself a favor and watch it, it's so good. It hits so hard in terms of just thematically with the relationship between um, the main character and her family and then um, in terms of like plot and pacing and her own personal arc as, as an immigrant, you know, who just was trying to make, achieve the American dream that's like beautiful too. So it's just, wow, no, no words, so beautiful. <clears throat> really hit home for me. Um, okay. Do you want to add a little bit of like a rosy tint? Not that fun, rosy. Nope. Like that, maybe? Oh, it's so orange. I don't love it. <coughs> <coughs> Diamond, no Dudley fingers here. Madeline, oh no, yeah, family coming. What movie? Uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Namara, you just don't really watch movies anymore. You can watch a two-hour stream, but a movie just loses you. <laughs> You're so funny, but it's kind of true though. Um, I can, like recently, I tried to watch Cyrano with my little sister, and five minutes in, I zoned out. It was so bad. And I was drawing at the same time. I was like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get work done. And I ended up just, 
looking up, making fun of the movie for a little bit, going back to <laughs> going back to my iPad, and then just kind of like it was just not. It wasn't an enjoyable experience. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like <clears throat> the storytelling um, approach nowadays, or I mean, or maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe I'm the problem. But yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to enjoy any <clears throat> anything. <laughs> but um. Let's see. Madeline, your partner is the same way. Trying to get them to watch even a show is like pulling teeth. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Um, dude, Kun, your husband will watch two movies worth of binging shows, but hates sitting down to watch a movie. What is it? What is it? Is it just the lackluster quality of movies nowadays? Is it just... I wonder what it is. Part of it for me is also the fact that why is every movie at least two and a half hours long now? I feel like you could cut a lot of that garbage in the second act out. You know what I mean? It's just, that's too much. (laughs) Director, please edit. (laughs) Edit. (laughs) Let's cut stuff out. Let's cut stuff out, my friend. Let's, we don't need all of that. Okay. How is that? Okay, I like that. Let's let's give this man some life, some blood flowing into his veins, into his spidery veins. Kind of just yeah, let's do that. Actually, let's just I'll just do the the fingernails last. Okay, kind of let's give him a little knuckle, little knuckle. Uh, Some blood flow up in there, Snapey. Let's see, Madeline. Attention span is their excuse. (laughs) Gabriel, they are lazy to cut the crap out of it. I guess so. It's just, I guess it's just easier to just like barf out a bunch of footage and then just smush it together and be super butthurt and sensitive about cutting out like what their favorite little gag that doesn't add anything to the movie and isn't in actuality all that funny (laughs) like come on kill your kill your babies right like that's what they say like the first day in art school get the shitty ideas out and grow a thick enough skin to cut it (laughs) oh man (laughs) madeline quality movie how did you how did you do that fancy emoji? Hmm, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> um, Gabriel, and they want to get the extra money for extra long movies. Oh, are movie tickets more expensive? For longer movies? I don't know that. Fascinating. I can't, to be honest, I can't really sit through a lot of TV shows either nowadays. I don't know. I, I just watch a lot of um, YouTubers now. Um, dude, Ken, what's that quote about how it's easy to write a long speech, but it's hard to write a short one? Oh, I don't know. What is that from? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Excuse me. Oh, I need a cough button. Okay, note to self. Putting it on my list. Put a cough button. <coughs> oh, into <laughs> OBS. <coughs> Sorry, Diamond. Don't forget the explosions. Why do they always have to have so many explosions? Oh yeah, like the testosterone fix, or yeah, flicks. Not gonna lie though. Does anybody remember the Expendables? Where they like took every famous person from the 80s and 90s who did like action flicks from, I feel like Jet Li was in it and um, Sylvester Stallone. And I just, I watched it like so many years ago and I was so into it. I guess, yeah. Th- these little marketing ploys say, okay, I'm not drawing, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, this dude, I'm like, 
like my students. I need like a like a teacher just breathing down my neck saying, draw, less chatting, more drawing, paint, put paint to paper. Um, I'm so into that. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is about movie executives and <laughs> explosions. It's just like the climax of a movie a lot of times it, it can culminate, especially according to a genre, like it can culminate in this huge escalating fight scene. But does every movie have to have like an apocalyptic almost um, sort of escalation <laughs> and confrontation between, you know, um, protagonist and antagonist? Like, does it, does it always have to be like that? Oh my God, it's so boring. It's just like zone out. It's like, so how many... Because honestly, like, how many, how fresh can you make a fight scene? You know, <laughs> it's just a fight scene. Like, you, there's only so many ways that you can do it. And it's so refreshing when you find um, a filmmaker that can think outside of the box. And think of kind of like an anticlimactic climax that um, does the opposite of external confrontation. They, like, dive internally. Like, nothing happens, essentially, but that's the point of the character arc it's just so fascinating and um i think it was was it captain fantastic <laughs> you know how okay the actor of aragorn <laughs> made a movie a couple years ago or like he he starred in a movie a couple years ago about a father who raised um his children in this alternative way and it was just it was beautiful. I love that movie so much. <laughs> okay, I'm just rambling. How's the chat coming along? Uh, Namara, you also just watch YouTube nowadays? Yeah, what is it? Is it just because it's shorter form content? But even like long form content where like, I don't know, reaction or like drama channels rant for... 20 30 minutes i'm just so into i don't know what it is maybe i just like trash tv okay all right hold on okay how is that hand oh okay his index finger is looking a little funky though hold on let me just let me just give him a little surgery here let's just kind of kind of kind of do that Remove his little, his little finger blushy blushes. And I like that. How is that? Okay, let's add a fingernail now. Add a fingernail. Oh, too light. Let's. Okay. Not bad. I mean, it's a little light, I guess. I don't think people have white fingernails, right? Hold on, let me just... Oh, okay, I mean, it looks a little fluorescent when I zoom out, but <laughs> it's okay. I'll just live with it. I'll just live with it for now, and then maybe I'll add, like, a little kind of pink gradation down. Beautiful hand. Yeah. <coughs> Madeline, oh gosh, those writing challenges put you in your place. A thousand words used to be so hard to write, but now a hundred is um, hard to write. As as someone who has tried to write, yeah, a hundred, a hundred was, yeah, it was already hard for me. Um, I don't know how y'all do it. Writing is hard. Oops. <clears throat> I'm always, I'm always impressed. Okay. Anamara. 
you'll watch 30 minute videos and two hour VODs with no issue whatsoever. It's just TV shows that lose you. Like you'll watch a mystery video on YouTube, but a TV show that's presented in a non-linear manner, asking questions every five seconds. Oh my God. Non-linear <laughs> narrative story. I hate it. <laughs> just tell the story in the right order. Just like in the chronological, like, I don't know. I guess it's just like filmmakers want to be fancy and like stylistically different, but <sighs> let's not. <laughs> let's not because I think it's it's all about connection and engagement right like the moment you 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 play with me in terms of like beats and moving things around in terms of plot I disengage because it's like oh what's happening like my brain has to start thinking and I don't like that I'm (laughs) I don't like that (laughs) don't do that to me It used to be interesting, and now it's just this uh, overused trope. I'm like, just stop. Don't flash back. Stop flashing back. Tell it linearly. Okay. (laughs) That's my humble opinion. Anyway. Okay. Okay, we got an okay hand. Uh Uh-uh. Diamond, uh, Big Same, you'll marathon YouTube videos and can spend two hours on TikTok, but ask you to watch an episode uh, or a movie and you (laughs) nope on out. Oh, man. You know, it's so true. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because, is it because YouTube, these short form videos, they just get to the point? Like, they don't, there's not like all of this setup, all of this world building, all of this frou-frou stuff before you get to the meat and the potatoes is that one gabriel youtube is a great source and it's free mostly you can choose what to watch and you're independent from all those stupid tv shows nowadays you watch youtube or netflix only same namara also comedy on tv and movies gives you so much secondhand embarrassment (laughs) but comedy on youtube is fine yeah is it just are the jokes they're writing just not, what's the word? I don't think relatable is a word. Is it just not, um, what is that word? That word that they use in improv. They, they say, don't be funny, be relatable. Yeah, maybe relatable. Did I just say relatable? Yeah, maybe relatable is, is a word. <clears throat> Dude, Cun, you'd love to read a fic. Oh, you love to read a fic by me? The plots of your comics give you a lot of faith in what I'd write in a story. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. You're so nice. It's just, I don't know what it is uh, like between drawing out a story versus writing a story. I think I get caught up on my diction a little too much. and And then I get caught up and then that makes me lose the point of the story which is supposed to be I guess engagement or like um having or providing a window to the thought process of a character and then I focus on their actions and their beats but I'm basically doing what (laughs) we hate I guess as an audience now that um film current filmmakers are doing I'm worrying too much about the plot when we should be worrying about the character and what they're going through, right? And for some reason, drawing adds a certain layer. I'm not drawing, sorry. (laughs) Um, Drawing adds a layer of, uh, I don't know, something that that keeps me from doing that. I don't know. Maybe because you kind of have to see it. See it to, it's all, what, drawing these comics is all about showing, not telling. So, I don't know. Maybe that helps, but. Right now, I need to <laughs> need to pull my head out of my ass sometimes. Anyway, I have one hand, <laughs> and we have three minutes left. Okay, let me, I'll okay. I'll I'll try to I'll try to get this hand um, <clears throat> tightened up just a little bit. We'll get as much as we can done, and then uh, I need to go to H E B and buy some cat litter. My poor babies, they're a little low on the cat litter. Okay. Oh man. Let's see how much can we get done. Let's clean. Oh, we're just. Wait a minute. I'm conf- 
confused. Oh, 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 okay, 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 uh, let me just, <laughs> why did I combine all the layers? Bye bye. Oops. tidy up the hair strands in a bit. Let me... Gonna... Knuckle, 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 right there. Okay. <coughs> oh man, oh, I need it. <laughs> oh, I, need, I really need to put a cough button on here. <laughs> coming up behind here. I feel like that looks more natural. Oops, sorry. Bang on the computer. Okay, I think that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think that's it, I think. Is it time? It's 10, or I guess it's 11 in some people's time. Okay, hold on, let me. Y'all hop off if you need to hop off, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I want to see for my. Sir, sir. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. It's not okay. So I'm supposed to double. T Is this thing broken? All right, this is what we have. Not bad. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> we're gonna make very slow progress on this. Um, good night, everyone. Thanks for thanks for joining me. Uh, Gabriel, when will you update day by day? Is there any chance that the next chapter will be uploaded still in 2022? I, I am hoping, I am doing my best. Uh, to be honest, I don't think there's going to be an update this week because life is hell right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time running around yelling at kids to stop, you know, throwing paint at each other. Um, the goal is to get a chapter out next week. So after after Christmas, um, most likely next week. Let me see. What is, what is today? Oh, it's already the 20th. Yeah. So before New Year's, that's the goal. That way I can get out a zine with two chapters <laughs> and um, yeah, and then also color that and I'll say for work illustration and <laughs> finish my commissions. <clears throat> anyway, uh, thanks for the question. I will see y'all later. Thanks for hanging. Bye.